I think it's funny that U.S. officials honestly think the Israeli government is going to listen to them when they tell them to minimize civilian casualties. Guess that is not what the Israeli government wants. Well, despite Israeli leaders vowing to do all that they can to keep civilians out of the crossfire, the Biden administration says they need to do more. CBS's Nicole Skanga is at the White House tonight with more. Good evening, Nicole. Good evening, Jerika. In some of his strongest remarks to date, Secretary Austin made what he called a personal push this weekend, urging Israeli leaders to avoid civilian casualties in Gaza. A stark warning delivered by the defense chief, a cautionary tale plucked from the four-star general's campaign against ISIS. In this kind of a fight, the center of gravity is the civilian population. And if you drive them into the arms of the enemy, you replace a tactical victory with a strategic defeat. National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby told Face the Nation's Margaret Brennan that message has been delivered both publicly and privately to Israeli leaders. They have been receptive to those messages. Now, again, I want to make it clear, the right number of civilian casualties is zero. And it's clearly many thousands have been killed and many more thousands have been wounded and now more than a million are internally displaced. But some Republican lawmakers are pushing back against those messages. Secretary Austin is telling Israel things that are impossible to achieve. Secretary Austin, the reason yeah. Palestinians are dying, Gaza is so condensed, Hamas has tunnels under apartments, under schools, under hospitals. Still, Democrats. Yeah, okay, Gaza is condensed because the Israeli government keeps taking land from the Palestinians, forcing them to be closer and closer proximity. So that is no justification for the Israeli government killing innocent people, nor is uh, Hamas using tunnels underneath buildings and stuff is a justification for the Israeli government killing innocents. Democratic critics have pressured the Biden administration to draw brighter red lines, moderating U.S. support for Israel. Should there be brighter lines? We are having these discussions with our Israeli counterparts every day about being careful, precise, and deliberate in their targeting and trying to minimize civilian casualties to the maximum extent possible. And Nicole joins us from the White House. Nicole, earlier we talked about the U.S. warship responding to several distress calls after an assault on three commercial ships in the Red Sea. What more do we know about who is behind that attack? Jerika, Yemeni rebels have claimed responsibility for the hours-long onslaught. Now, in a statement issued moments ago, U.S. Central Command called the strikes fully enabled by Iran. All right, Nicole Skanga.